Hey everyone, just before I start this video, I just want to talk about this Discord server I just joined recently. It is for Bakugan Pro uh, TCG players in Colorado, more around Colorado Springs, but generally, generally in Colorado. Um, so if you are interested in playing the Bakugan card game, uh, check out the Discord server. Links in the description. Uh, the next meeting for like uh, for the playing Bakugan uh, we have is on the 16th uh, Monday. Um, so yeah, just join the Discord server. Check it out if you live in Colorado. And I hope to see some of you there. Welcome back everybody, Bakuzilla here, and today we are back for another Bakugan unboxing and review. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Darkest Neo Pegatrix Platinum Power Up Pack. So, taking a look at the box first, you got the Bakugan Evolutions logo, True Metal. You got Darkest Neo Pegatrix on the front there. Platinum Power Up, Neo Pegatrix, and it comes with uh, Orless Nano Blade and Aquas Nano Siphon. Those two right there. And then there's Neo Pegatrix, all her glory. Uh, there's everything you get with the Nano Gone attachment. On the back, you get the Nano Gone, the view of the Nano Gone, Pegatrix, Platinum Neo Pegatrix, and then some rollout. Whoops. And stuff again in the box. Anyway, I'll be back when I have them out of the box. So here's everything out of the box, starting off with the cores. You get a Fire Fist, which is plus 250B, plus 3 attack. Pretty sure that is the highest stats you can get, or at least a mix. The highest stats if you have both stats on a single core. So that's not too shabby. You get a Magic Shield for plus 500B. It's not plus 650B, so it doesn't matter. Uh, for the cards, you get this Gate card with Cindyish, Cindyish? Cindyus slashing at a big wave. Um, for the stats, it's plus, not plus, 100 Pyrus, 800 Vent, uh, Aquas, 400 Ventus, 0 Chaos, 200 Orlis, 400 Darkus, and a Magic Shield there at the bottom. For the character cards here, you got Darkus Platinum Neo Pegatrix. Um, if I can remember, cores are Magic Shield and Red Fist. 700B, 6 attack, so um, 700B is a little bit low, that's it, 6 attack though is very nice, and you do get a magic shield, and if you have a Nanogon or some other Bakugan, or even some cards in your hand to boost up that B power, then this is a pretty, pretty nice card, it is vanilla, no extra stats, so that kind of sucks, but, you know, it's a heavy hitter with a pretty decent B power and some nice cores to come along with it. For the Nanogon, here you have Orless Blade. Um, so you get a reroll if your Bakugan... I don't know if... So you get a reroll for your Bakugan. That's just for free. You can activate that at any time. And then if your Bakugan are holding a Orange Shield, you can plus 200B, their B power, or if they're holding two orange shields, plus 600B. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to drink water. My throat is very dry. Aquas Siphon, the slug. I have like a billion of these guys, and I feel like I'm gonna open up more in my little backlog there. But anyways, if your Bakugan are holding a uh, orange shield, you can activate this to gain, a, put another core from the field on your Bakugan, or if they're holding a orange shield and a green fist, add a core from the field onto a Bakugan and plus 200B to their B power. Now taking a look at the Bakugan, I think we're going to start off with uh, the actual, I guess Bakugan and Nanogun. We're going to start off with the Bakugan so we can do some Nanogun shenanigans. Uh, by I mean, should, uh, by attaching them to the Bakugan later. So let's move these guys out of the way for now. Let's take a look at Neo Pegatrix here. Whoa! Oh, perfect roll. Awesome. All right. So here she is. You got that nice minty green eye, that minty green faction symbol, and if I can find it, minty green B power. So. Yeah, pretty good looking. Neo Pegatrix, you can, you can either stand it up like this, or you can like 
flip it horizontally and have it like an actual horse like so which is pretty nice um this metal like the metal on this is pink like a very bright vibrant pink or I guess magenta. I don't really know what color this is, but it is very bright and it looks really good. I will not like diss it for that. It does look really nice. You know, just a nice sculpt in general. That head sculpt looks fabulous. Tiny tail. But yeah, I don't know. Neo Pegasus, I guess in this color, I didn't really like the Chaos version, but this Darkest version is pretty cool. Not even the diamond could stand up to this. Yes, the diamond is a, uh, it's meh. It's one of the more meh diamonds I've seen. And they're also everywhere. There's, there was one sitting on the shelf for like a couple weeks uh, at one of my targets. Anyways, let's have to look at Nanogon. Nanogon, you don't need metal. So we're just gonna open these guys up. First starting off with Siphon. There you go. So you wanna just completely unfold it. And then I'm pretty sure you just flip his head around and then you reattach it like this. And that's how you get siphon. Maybe you also flip this like so. How do you, let me look in the box. Well, the box is just not helpful. Have I been, oh, whoa, whoa. Have I been doing siphon wrong this whole time? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it looks like, oh no, I think I've been doing siphon wrong this whole time. So, it looks like you position him like this, like like, a, like this, and like so. Put his tail down like that, and then you could just like stand him up like that. And I, that's how uh, siphon is on the box. I'm assuming that's how Siphon's supposed to look. I've just been doing <laughs> this the whole time. Or I guess also I've been, whoa. Very twisty. There we go. Come on. I've just been doing Siphon like this, but I guess that way is better. It also fits in nicely there. So I guess, yeah. I think this is how you're supposed to do siphon, apparently. Okay, never knew that. That's cool. Also, his little pig thing is there. And then when you attach him, you can attach him like this. Okay, okay. For example, right there. Or you could do it on the wings or whatever. You can have three attached at a single time. Or right here. It's off-centered, but that's fine. <laughs> and there you go. Siphon is riding on Pegatrix like a, like a steed. Okay. Next, blade. Here we go. Blade, blade, blade. How do you open this? First, you crack them open like an egg. There we go. Crack, open like an egg. Twist, whoops, okay, not yet. No twist yet. First, you pull out his head. And then you can twist. And then you can bring out his tail, like so. Then he does have a fin, and there you go, there is Blade. Now on the character card, uh, so he looks cool like this. I thought he'd just be a fish, but apparently he has this really ugly mouth area. I don't know. The, 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 the like teeth, the mouth is just, it, it lowered the cool factor of Blade. But the Nanogon itself is pretty cool. It looks like a pretty cool Nanogon. And then the peg piece to attach it to the background is right there. And this is gonna look weird because he's gonna be upside down, but whatever, it's fine. Come on, I can't, I can't see. There, <laughs> there we go, he's upside down, riding Pegatrix. And then you attach blade right there. We could attach siphon. To the, oops, nope. Oh. Right there. And voila! Upside down blade and regular, I guess, siphon can just be in any orientation. Maybe he'd be up right side up, but he's upside down. Technically, they're both upside down. But you know, 
right into battle, I guess. <laughs> On the noble steed. I don't have a third nano gun with me. Near me that I want to grab right now. So she's just going to have two allies for now. Anyways, uh, that's all I really have to say. It's outro time. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.